All right, this is part three of a uh, scale building and discussion of modes series that I've been working on. And uh, hopefully we'll delve a little bit more into modes and unlock the mystery in there. They're really not that mysterious when we get it all figured out. Um, but the first thing I would like to do is start from where we left off on the last time with a really cool shape. Um, a pattern that recurs over and over on the fifth and sixth strings, the uh, third and fourth strings, and the first and second strings fits nicely with a one uh, fret per finger rule. And if you remember that pattern, it looked something like, with a slide there, with a slide here, and another slide there. Great little pattern. Um, what I'd like to discuss is how that is actually the Locrian mode. <clears throat> the Locrian is pretty useless mode in itself from what I can tell, but it, it's a great pattern. Let me demonstrate how that is the Locrian. If we play it off of the B, uh, a, a mode by definition is a, a natural scale from letter to letter with the half steps that occur naturally in that scale. So if you looked at the white keys of a piano and played from B to B, you would notice that there's a natural half step between B and C. You'll notice there's no black key between those two notes on the piano, as well as E and F. There's no black key between those two notes. So to demonstrate that on the guitar, we're going to play it from B, and you'll see the half steps. I'll go ahead and call this out. It's B, C, D, E, F, G, slide to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, slide to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, slide to A. So that's that pattern that we did down here. It's the Locrian mode. You'll notice that those half steps, B and C, and E and F, recur here, B and C, E and F, and here, B and C, E and F. Yeah, let's move that strap out of the way. <clears throat> so anyways, if that would be the Locrian mode, B to B, then the next if we started that very same pattern off of the C, the C is the Ionian mode from C to C. But instead of playing that C with our index finger and coming up with a whole new fingering for that, if we stay in the same pattern and play it off of our middle finger, C, we'll forget the B for just a second, even though it is in the scale if you descend back down. But let's just say C, D, E, F, G, slide A, B, C, slide to A, B, C, and it continue up if you'd like, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's the Ionian mode. The Ionian mode is a useful mode as opposed to the Locrian mode. The uh, Ionian mode is the major scale. Let's do this. We'll start that again. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, or Do, Re, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. I'm trying to stay within that same pattern. Okay, we'll hang that on the shelf for just a second here and discuss. Um, go up another step to the D. So we've got B, C, D. If you start it on the D, it's the Dorian mode from D to D. We could start the Dorian mode here and play, again, a completely different pattern, but instead of trying to memorize all these different patterns, we'll take it from that Locrian position, playing with the pinky as D, and it'll be D to D, with the half steps falling in their natural locations would be D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. So now we've got, in the same fingering from the Locrian, we've got the Ionian mode, which is major, the Dorian mode, which is basically a rock scale, um, the blues scale fits right in with that Dorian mode, and last but not least, for this purpose of this lesson, we're going to talk about the Aeolian mode, which is the minor scale. If this was B again, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on, <clears throat> that would make A would be right there. Aeolian, the minor key, is from A to A. Well, again, we could build the whole scale starting down here, but it would again be a completely different fingering. So what I'm trying to establish is 
one common fingering to all the different modes. So for instance, if I wanted to play the minor or the Aeolian scale, I could start with the note, because from here it would the, the scale would continue down as well as up. So I'll start with this and I'll go ahead and slide into this B. Check this out. There's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. That was A to A, that's the minor key. <clears throat> or it's the minor scale, the Aeolian mode. So had I played that same thing in another location, it would have been the Aeolian mode in a different key, which would have been that key minor. So the beauty of just knowing at, at this point the difference between the Aeolian, the Ionian, Ionian and the Dorian, and who cares about the Locrian, but it, other than the really cool pattern that it presents, is I will demonstrate now what I started off with playing in the F sharp. can be thought of as playing in the key of A in the Dorian mode. And the reason for that is, we'll go back up here, B, C, D. Remember the Dorian mode started with the pinky. That was a Dorian mode. Let's slide that whole deal down. Now the pinky makes that Dorian in the key of A. Well, the only reason we're talking about Dorian at the moment is because the rock mode in the key of A is actually, um, actually, you've probably seen this rock scale. That's actually the Dorian mode stripped down. Um, the entire Dorian mode would be... the G and the F sharp. It's kind of useful because then you can capture all of the notes that are actually in that Dorian mode, which uh, you can use to flavor up your, your uh, blues solos and whatnot uh, by playing in Dorian. Um, the beauty is, now we're going to talk about the Ionian mode in A. Remember, we'll come up to the B, B, C, D, E, F, G. Remember the Ionian started with the middle finger. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, or do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So we got to keep to remember to slide to make the pattern consistent for this for the purpose of this video. You can certainly break out of the pattern once you get it embedded in your head. Anyway, starting with the middle finger, we'll bring it right down to the A. So in the key of A using that same fingering, it's starting with the middle finger, would be Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Ran out of uh, range there on the voice. Um, so now what we have is the Dorian. We have the um, Ionian, and I'll go ahead and add the, the note because it's actually in the scale. So now we'll talk about the Aeolian mode one more time in relation to that in the key of A. Uh, we kind of touched on it a second ago when we were playing up here in the, the Locrian mode, because actually the Locrian mode in B is the same scale as the Aeolian mode in A. But we will start by sliding into it. Let's not even worry about the slide and just play it as this pattern. See how that still sounds very minorish when you uh, resolve to the A minor? It'll sound almost uh, rockish if you resolve it to the A major or minor when you play it as a Dorian. 